Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the Git and Set Collision Profile Name Nodes. So let's go ahead and take a look at these nodes. We have our Git Collision Profile Name node here and our Set Collision Profile Name here. And if I hit play and we test this, I'm going to shoot at my pawn. It's going to tell me it's the pawn collision profile name and it's going to be stopped by it. Now if I shoot it again, it's going to say character mesh. And it's going to get stopped. And if I shoot it one more time, well, nothing's going to happen. And I'll be able to go through my player itself. Now I kind of need to shoot the weapon here. Now I can walk through it like you expect. We're doing that by getting our collision profile name and printing it out. And then changing the new profile to something that has no collision. So the get collision profile name node is pretty simple. It takes in a component, a primitive component, and it gives you the collision profile name. Simple as that. If we were to look at this item here, you can see the collision profile name in this case is custom. And when we shoot it, of course, we get back custom. Same thing for any of our other items. Over here, we, for example, we have our collision name of pawn. The ground, for example, is world static. If we were to shoot our ground, actually, it's going to show world static, and then we would end up... Actually, it's not going to because we're not tracing by that. Anyways... It's going to give us back the collision profile name we have set up. Maybe we want to use it for comparison purposes. Maybe we want to change it. Whatever. Get collision profile name. Takes in the primitive component. And returns back the name of the profile. Now the set collision profile name takes in a collision profile name. All of your collision profile names are in your project settings. Collision. You have all of your collision presets. You can see here I have test profile one I created. We have all of our defaults from no collision down to individual collision types. Let's say you wanted to destroy something and then set its collision to no collide, but you still want things like maybe bullets to not go through, but you want the player to go through now. You can have a custom collision profile, set it up like that, and then upon tracing or whatever you've determined is appropriate, you set the collision profile name to the new collision profile and you target that component you want to change the profile on. In this case, it's whatever I'm tracing against. And it will now have that new profile. And we can see that here if we do print string. And then we'll go ahead and grab the get collision profile name node here. And we'll plug it in here. So now after we hit something, we're going to print it out, change it, and then print it out again. So we'll go here. We'll go to our cube. We'll fire, custom, and then no collision. Simple as that. So those are our Git Collision Profile Name Nodes and our Set Collision Profile Name Nodes. It allows you to take your collision profiles, which you see here, and find out what they are, and then do something with the information, or set them on a primitive component. 